Flags unfurled, colors so bright, through the streets in the fading light. Cities pause in a solemn parade for the sacrifice you once made. Hiram Kronk was born in Frankfurt, New York, on April 19, 1800. He was mustered into federal military service as a private in Captain Edmund Fuller's company, which was detached from the New York militia on October 8, 1814. Having served five weeks in defense of Sackett's Harbor, Hiram was mustered out on November 16, 1814, apparently making him a 14-year-old war veteran. It has taken us 210 years to go from 14-year-old war veterans to the age of participation trophies. Tell me, is that progress? He had stated that he is kept strong and well by Duffy's pure malt whiskey, adding, Thanks to Duffy's, I am able to be out every day and take quite extended traps in the severest weather. For his wartime service, he received a pension of $12 per month. In 1903, Congress increased it to $25 per month. He also received a special pension of $72 per month from the state of New York. Hiram Cronk died in Dunbrook, Oneida County, New York, on May 13, 1905, at the age of 105. After his death, Kronk's body was displayed in the main lobby of New York City Hall. An estimated 925,000 people paid their respects. He is interred in the Mount of Victory, Cypress Hills National Cemetery, Brooklyn, New York. Kronk married Mary Thornton, in 1825, with whom he had seven children. At the time of his death, he had 14 grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. His great-granddaughter, Jane, lived to over 100 years of age, making the two what is called serial centenarians. He spent his life living on a farm near Syracuse, but when he died, he was treated like a hero. New York City hosted a state funeral in his honor, joined by politicians and military units, and watched by thousands of city residents who thronged the streets in appreciation. In the city, residents grappled with the lingering effects of the Civil War, alongside rapid advancements and waves of European immigration. Consequently, a sense of nostalgia for earlier conflicts, such as the War of 1812, began to emerge. Kronk and other survivors and artifacts of the War of 1812 and the Revolutionary War became objects of great national fascination and enshrinement. This film was shot by G.W. Bitzer of the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company. It's part of the paper print collection, preserved and archived by the Library of Congress. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope something good happens to you today. Peace.